painting it black with their black uniforms, but wearing those purple helmets. First quarter, the Pirates were moving the ball pretty well on this drive. Thomas Sirk hits Jimmy Williams for the big game. Williams finished with 110 yards. That led to a Pirate field goal. They would take a 3-0 lead. The very next Temple possession, Logan Marsh with time eventually flushed out of the pocket. He's going to throw on the run and Aaron Ramsour there to pick it off the Pirates first interception of the year, but the ensuing drive would stall out just a minute before the half. Temple already ahead 17 to 3 and they're looking downfield again. This time it's Randall Jones that comes down with it. That would lead to a Temple touchdown. It was 24 3 at the half to the third quarter. The Pirates marching down the field. Thomas Sir caps off an 11 play 75 yard drive with this touchdown pass to Quay Johnson, but that made it 24 to 10 and that's as close as ECU would get moments later. Temple again looking downfield off the play fake. It's going to be Isaiah Wright that hauls it in on the far side of the field. Temple comes to Greenville and rolls ECU 34 to 10. That final score with more from Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Here's our own Brian Bailey. This long season for East Carolina got a little bit longer today. Temple comes to town and knocks off ECU by the final of 34 to 10. The game was played in front of an announced crowd of over 31,000 that looked more like 15. And by the end of the game, maybe 100 to 200 fans still watching as the Pirates fall. Uh, the one thing that I'm most disappointed about is our discipline. Uh, what I brought to this, this program was, was the, the foundation of the program was talked about discipline and conditioning. and We didn't have that today. Next football team we put on the field will be a lot more disciplined. That everybody around here is frustrated, but I mean, that's not my role right now. I got to step up and be a leader and, and keep everybody heads up and tell everybody we're going to be all right. Jimmy said it after the game, we have to start holding each other accountable. I mean, there's not enough people holding each other accountable here, offensively, defensively, in any situation. I mean, you shouldn't be afraid to, as an offensive player, to hold a defensive player accountable. That's just the type of team that we need to have, and we're going to continue to grow in that area moving forward. And so to get the outcome of um, losing that, it really hurts. You know, it really it's not good, especially when we know that we putting in, um, we're putting in a good amount of effort. Can this team still turn things around? I believe so. I feel like we're so close. Like if we if we stay together, we're gonna be fine. But you know, it's we've been saying that repeatedly, repeatedly every week. We gotta get to the point where we don't just say it, but we gotta start doing it. Temple 34, East Carolina 10. The final since starting 2-0 last year. The Pirates are now 2-14 in their last 16 games. The Pirates fall and fall big time today at home. 34-10 to the Temple Owls. Brian Bailey, not in your side sports.